Hello, welcome to Blue Faculty's version of BBC School Report. My name is Melinda. Today our main topics will be Chores Day and Bonsai Friday, Work Experience, Maths Day and Aladdin. Now we're back with Charlotte who will be talking about World Maths Week with Mr Shepherd. Thank you Melinda and today I'm here with Mrs Shepherd talking about World Maths Day. So from the 11th to the 15th of March it was World Maths Day. So what events were happening? It was World Maths Day and it was a really great week. We had lots of things going on, um, including morning uh, quizzes where the students got to answer questions from all, the, all different subjects that were based on uh, their maths and their numeracy. What do you think was the biggest accomplishment of the week? Well, there were lots of lots of accomplishments, but one of the best events was the Pi Memory Challenge, and we had um, some really amazing student uh, performances there. We had Year 10 who managed 155 decimal places, an amazing feat of memory. So, yeah, it was really, really impressive. And here I am with Ahmed Bhatti reciting Pi. 3.141592653589793238. Over to Charlotte, who will be talking for six four math about work experience. Thank you. And today we're going to talk about work experience. How do you think work experience helps students for the future? Um, I think it's really helpful because it gives you an insight into like the working world. What did you do for work experience? Um, I worked at a nursery. And do you think it made a difference for your A-level choices? Um, yeah, because it made me realise that I want to do like child development in the future. And do you think students will have a disadvantage not being able to do work experience in year 10? Yeah, definitely, because they won't really be able to see what choices they have. So, yeah. Thank you. Over to Ryan, who will be with Mr. Candy reporting. Thank you, Melinda. And here I am with Mr. Candy, the Faculty Director of Napier. So, sir, what is Fun Size Friday and Chores Tuesday? Okay, so we were identifying a problem in the Blues, and the problem in the Blues is that we don't have that many naughty students doing really badly. We've got loads of good students who aren't doing very well, and so we decided that we try and motivate the students in their tutor groups by giving them the chance to win chocolate every single Friday by earning two positives, or doing chores and working with their tutor if they didn't do so well every week and got negatives. So that's the theory behind it. Don't you think it's too much of a harsh punishment on the children? Doing chores? Yeah. Um, it's not a punishment. That's the way I see it. The way I see it is we're trying to build teams, and each tutor group is a strong team with a sense of togetherness. And the, the, the idea behind this, the thinking was that if you're not contributing to your tutor group by getting positives, then you can contribute in another way, maybe by helping your tutor. So they're not detentions and they're not horrible jobs that people have to do. They're just helping out and being part of a team. And that's really what I was trying to do here, is build strong teams. Do you think that other faculties will want to take up this scheme? Yeah, good question. I don't know. Um, I suppose you'd have to look at the evidence. And one of the problems we've had is that Fun Size Friday and the chores have worked for some students. But it worked really well for a few weeks, and it hasn't worked so well since then. So actually what I'm doing is I'm stopping it at Easter, and we're starting a new strategy to keep the Blues on their toes. So my belief is that we keep on mixing up the strategies and keep the students kind of uh, on their toes, then that will help our performance get even better still. So other faculties might want to try it, but we're going to move on ourselves after Easter. Okay, thank you, sir. 08 with Thank you, Melinda. And here I am with Charlotte, one of the main characters of Aladdin. How did it feel to be part of Harry Academy's first whole school production? Um, I was really nervous at first. Um, I wasn't really sure how it would turn out, but it ended up being really good. Um, what was the pressure of having one of the main characters? Um, there was a lot of pressure learning lines and the songs because a lot of people wanted to add in their own bit so it showed off their character, like their characters. So it was pretty hard, but. You know, it all paid off afterwards. Yeah. Um, could you please give us a little taste of Okay. Okay. You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. Thank you. Back to you, Melinda. 
What lovely singing, Charlotte. That concludes our BBC School Report. Thank you. Four, two, four, one, two, eight, four. That's it.